The HBA has had a great week at the Alabama legislature. Um, in particular, we want to thank uh, Representative K.L. Brown for his work on our prompt pay legislation. Uh, he was able to shepherd that through the House. It now moves to the Senate. Uh, we're hopeful to get it into a Senate committee sometime, hopefully next week or the week after. Uh, we also saw a uh, passage of Representative Joe Lovern's um, smoke detector bill, which uh, just basically clarifies that in your process of maintaining apartments, you do need to make sure that those smoke alarms have their uh, batteries in them. We're going to be working closely with the fire chiefs uh, going forward with some educational programs based around uh, this concept. But anyway, that's going to go on to the Senate, uh, probably be in committee uh, next Wednesday. Another bill that's going to be in committee next Wednesday is the Home Builders Association's um, education initiative to where we're looking to put money into some of these programs uh, through the form of, of tool grants and that sort of thing. The vehicle itself, uh, we hope, will pass. We feel very confident. We've talked to leadership and they seem uh, excited about the concept uh, and we'll see where that goes. One of the big things that we've pushed from the start has been that as we uh, go forward, the home builders always put their own skin in the game. And, and we were able to do that some through our Alabama Home Builders Foundation. Uh, today I'm joined by Corey Bowling. He's the executive director of the Alabama Home Builders Foundation. And uh, I'm going to ask Corey just to kind of give us an idea of, of some of the things the foundation does to help advance education. Uh, yeah, the, uh, the foundation is actually the charitable arm of the Home Builders Association of Alabama. Uh, it was formed in the, the mid-90s. Uh, its primary goal is to uh, educate consumers about careers in the construction field. Uh, Jason mentioned tool grants. Uh, that's one of the things we do. Uh, one of the things we've done since its inception is uh, scholarships. Um, since we began in the mid-90s, we've given away almost $650,000 in scholarships. Uh, that's over uh, 1,200 students that have uh, benefit, benefited from those. Uh, and the, one of the things that we do uh, for scholarships is uh, the primary fundraiser for those scholarships is our Foundation Golf Classic, which is actually uh, May 9th. It's going to be at Capitol Hill uh, in Prattville. 100% of the proceeds from the golf tournament go towards the scholarships, go towards tool grants uh, to help uh, encourage folks to, to go into the construction trades. Uh, so come on down May 9th or come on up, depending on where you're at. Uh, join us. should be a great day of golf and a uh, lot of fun. We look forward to seeing y'all on May 9th. Uh, we'll give you another update from the legislature, hopefully with good news uh, towards the end of next week.